And uh, I do know that you're good friends with CM Punk. We just talked about Bray yeah. Wyatt being released. Apparently, like this is brand new news. We're hearing it right. You just you just gave me breaking news, so I don't even know how to react yet. Um, uh, but you being close with CM and you know we're talking about AEW, all these promotions that are that are out there now. There's so many options for these free agents. There's been a lot yeah. of news about CM Punk. I mean, I haven't seen it confirmed. So, and I, and I know you may not be able to confirm it, but I do know that you are close with CM. But apparently, the rumor of the last couple of weeks has been uh, Daniel Bryan and CM are going to AEW. And wow. uh, I don't know if you can deny, confirm, or neither on that. You know, that's the thing about our relationship. It's like, you know, it's been very intimate. And like, you know, being able to have a friend like that in my life, you know, I'm, there's, there's, Com- it's, it's like when you confide into somebody, it's like our friendship is sort of uh, is, is more of like a family kind of thing. You know what I mean? And it's like a, it's like a brotherly love, like in a way that like, uh, um, you know, it's, it's hard to have, how do I, how do I put this? It's like, um, there's a connection between us that, that far transcends like, you know, our respective businesses right Right, it's like it's it's a very it's a kindred it's a kindred we're kindred spirits you know and so you guys don't really talk about each other's like you guys don't talk about that very much when you guys are talking it's something completely different mostly mostly 100 i mean it's the last thing i mean if we do talk about wrestling it's always about a match or a promo that's pretty funny or something like that you know and like when ace gets involved um you know it's so funny because like every time i've been to chicago ace um, has always been there and it's like, then it's like becomes the three amigos and we just, you know, go do stupid shit. But like for what he's doing, like all I can say is, is that whatever he decides to do, he'll always be successful at it. Well, he'll right. always, you know, um, I can't really get into more than that. I mean, I don't really know anything honestly. Um, because I, you know, unless he, I don't really never, I never really probe him for things. It's more or less like if he volunteers, like when he was having all this stuff with the WWE, you know, and the re-signing and stuff, like he came and hit out at my house for like a week, you know, and he trying to figure out what he was doing and taking phone calls out here on the driveway and whatever, you know, and then he would come back and ask me certain things. And, you know, there was one point where I was just like, look, man, it's like, you got to get what you want. And it's like, put down 10 things that are really important to you. And if you can't get them, you know, for whatever reason, then don't go. But if you can, then, then go, because it's, it's, it's life is like we were talking about very early on in the show. It's like, life is kind of what you make it. Your reality is what you, and, and, and it's so fucking true. And I, I used to think of it so, so, so much like hocus pocus or just hokey or whatever, you know, it's yeah, it like, seems, it but seems, it's true. It seems, yeah. It, it's, it, it, it seems fictional. If he that. does come back, which I hope that he, one day that he does, it's going to be big. And oh, it's yeah. going to be what everybody's going to be talking about because we're talking about one of the greatest to ever step foot. He's the, he's, he, when he left, he was at the top of his game. Mm-hmm. It's not like, you know, Kiss who's doing yet another fell affair. I mean, I love Kiss, <laughs> but it's not Kiss. It's not Kiss without Ace and Peter. And right. I know it's, there's all this inner bullshit and whatever, but it's like, just go. If you're going to go, go. You know, don't be like Mick Foley or Ric Flair and have. 50 retirement matches i mean honestly i i I understand why he didn't go back you know because they probably would have gotten the you know triple h probably would have squashed him and killed everything that they hit that he had you know it's it's such bullshit and you never know so stupid yeah yeah and you never know where the storylines are yeah that's unfortunate too i mean you know but if he does come back and has the freedom and the capabilities to be who he really is and he was able to do that in the wwe which is an anomaly in itself you know with but I feel like if he has that creative freedom, the the sky's the limit. He'll go down as like a gorgeous George. He'll go down as a Ric Flair. He'll. I mean, I think he's already in swimming the in original that, like, gorgeous along with George, Jericho. right? Wait, the original gorgeous George, right? Yes. Not the one that yeah. was uh, uh, Macho Man's no, arm. Not Macho Man. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. But I mean, it, it, it's like you know, I feel like and and Daniel Bryan too, or Brian Danielson, or whatever. American Dragon is what I remember him as, you know, from way back. But wow. like, you know, these I'm guys are like. I love it. Yeah, but these guys are like they're 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 they have so much to offer the wrestling world, and it's so crazy how everybody who leaves that company and that has looked like in that company as a mid ranger, like Malachi or whatever, comes to these other places, expresses themselves, and becomes 
the, one of the most talked about things happening. Right. It's so funny. You can you don't even have to ask them how much they were held down. You can see it. You can just see it by just them showing up on TV. Right. You're just like, oh fuck. Yeah. Like just given that opportunity. Now, you know, I feel like if any of those guys do make a comeback, do whatever they're going to do, it's going to be the talk of the town. And it's going to just pop that promotion wherever they decide to go, whether it be a ring of honor or an impact. I mean, because there's so many to choose from now. You, you, there's so many places that you can go make a decent living and, and have the creative freedom. Right. You know, you can go to new, you can go to a Japanese well, the promotion. Way more, the freedom's worth way more than any of the monetary value too. Let's be honest. Well, yeah. and I think that's something that you learn along the way as well. Yeah. You know I mean? It's like money is nice. And then you realize that money just goes away. Creative freedom doesn't. Right. You know I mean? Once you garner it and, and, and you, you acquire it and you cultivate it and you make it who you are or whatever it is, especially in wrestling, it's like you can, that, that will make you more money in the long run than the money. Does that make sense?